Nope, this is a car. Have to be. What one was that? Oh god! I'm going, I'm going! <laughs> oh my god, dude! What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today is finally the day we take out the sailboat for the first time of the season. We haven't really taken the sailboat out for a couple different reasons. The engine that the boat came with does work, but it did something to the boat, which I will show you guys today if I remember. Hopefully I remember, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. You know what? I will be remembering to tell you guys because there's a good shot that uh, we sink tonight. Maybe, possibly. And then the trailer had some issues. I ordered the parts for it. This really amazing guy, Peter, that Todd recommended to me, helped me out and I ordered the wrong parts, but he fixed the trailer enough so that he thinks I'm still gonna be fine and whatnot. It, the, the, everything to do with the boat is a headache, but considering this thing is from 1973, I won't be too hard on it. Nonetheless, we're going camping tonight and many of you guys know that watch my videos. I am a avid solo camper. I love camping solo. I think it's so much fun, but I also like camping with people too. It's just my preference to solo camp, but then there's times where I just really wanna camp with people. It just depends on the, the given day. And today I wanted to see if two people can sleep on the sailboat because there's technically three beds in the sailboat. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, so Todd is almost here. <laughs> And uh, yeah, Todd and I are gonna be sleeping in the sailboat tonight. We're gonna have rods out all night. The goal is to catch fish, have fun. I got some special underwater lights. Um, that is super exciting. I'm so stoked about that. There's a lot happening. Uh, I'm nervous. The sun goes down in less than an hour and a half. So hopefully Todd gets here soon. I already launched the sailboat. She's sitting somewhere over there all docked up and waiting for us. And yeah, it's just gonna be a fun video. Sorry that it's been so long without a sailboat video, but hopefully you guys understand that it, I shouldn't even be camping out on this thing right now, but I am. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> it's finally sailboat time, baby. A little windy. It's starting to die down though, which is nice. This is probably the cleanest the sailboat's gonna look this episode. My biggest worry, I told Todd to pack light, which is very hard for him to do. So we'll see how that goes. It's a very, very small sailboat. I don't even know the dimensions. It can't be more than 16 feet. Maybe 18? I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it out there and say 18. I'm sure if I Google like 1973, oh day sailboat, something will come up. I tried to organize it in there. It's so clean right now. As you can tell, the sun's going down. Really hopeful Todd gets here any minute now. It is going to be a freezing cold night. I'm so excited though. What up, loser? What up? It's so little. <laughs> I told you. But plenty of room. A little bit crazy, a little bit wacky. <laughs> there we go. Aye aye, Captain. Welcome to Vessel. Uh, I don't even Did know. Did you even name this thing yet? No, I had, people didn't comment names. Comment a name. She sure is white. She's got no sail. She, she's she's a sailless sailboat. Sally the Sailor, Sailor Sal. Sally the Sailor Sailboat. You think we're gonna sink it? Start sinking on water, I can swim, you can swim. Yeah, we're good. Look at that little sunset peeking over. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Home for the night. This is weird. We're, there's a lot of stuff on this boat right now. I went on Amazon after Todd and I made this a solid plan two days ago. <laughs> Super solid plan. 
super solid. And I got green lights. If you go to like a marina or something, you can you'll see green lights under docks, or a lot of crappie fishermen use them at night. Um, I got two green lights. You only necessarily like really need one. I got two, which now that I'm thinking of it was really dumb because I only have one cigarette lighter. Why did I buy two? So we're only gonna be using one at a time. <laughs> now that I think about it, uh, but it's fine. We got a green light. I'm excited. We're gonna set up. Yeah, we're gonna bait. We're gonna set everything up, and it's it's go time. Oh my God. We're boiling some water, and we're doing something that. I actually don't think we've done on the channel yet, which is kind of crazy. We've made homemade baked mac and cheese from scratch before, but we're making mac and cheese. <laughs> Annie's vegan mac, not vegan, dairy allergy, um, which 90% of you guys know, but for the 10% that want to roast me in the comments that it's vegan mac and cheese, um, it's an allergy. This one's the deluxe rich and creamy. I don't, I don't know, like, as someone who gets dairy-free stuff, Amy has hit or miss sometimes, so we'll see, but this is dinner. Honestly, if, if Todd and I get hungry, there's a couple of restaurants around here we could easily just, like, make them swim us food, you know, order, order delivery, and they just swim to the sailboat. Man, I miss this sailboat. It's just like, it's so much fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> Never judge a book by its cover, but that's its cover and it's not looking good. The cheese is not even like spreading. It's just clumping. <laughs> okay. Not bad. There's no cheese flavor <laughs> at all. <laughs> I've had plenty of good like dairy-free mac and cheese, plenty. That's not one of them. I this isn't even top five, and there's only five on the market. <laughs> if you if you walk into your local grocery store and you see it, avoid it. But for now, I'll be I'm I'm happy with it. You know. B nice bum where you're from, son. <laughs> We're putting on the green light. It like barely just got dark, but I'm just really excited. Oh God, that just blinded me. We'll see if any fish come to the line. Oh, do I get to move that? For what? To sleep? That's your bed. Oh my god! <laughs> <gasps> I thought that was the bed. It is, but I don't think both of us will fit on that comfortably. Oh my god, this is dope. Yeah, is it? I think it's called the gunnel, right? I don't know, I'm not a sailboater. Yeah, I think it's called Are the... Are you supposed to go in there? You, well, that's how you. This is a bed, yeah. I'm not going all the way in there. You don't have to go all the way, but that is your bed. So this is Todd's bed, and then this is mine, and we lay like that. It's kind of sick. It's kind of sick. I don't know how comfortable it's gonna be, but we'll find out the hard way. Checking her out. I wish we had more pads. Um. But we'll make it happen. Me yeah. and the captain are making it happen. Yeah, Captain Becca. Oh, <laughs> our rods are sitting pretty out there. Well, we're in the sailboat, folks. <laughs> Test the sailboat. All right. It was my my captain's hat. <laughs> it's gonna be so cold. <laughs> I don't think so. Really? 
No, that water's super warm. We're like on it. Oh god. Pillows. Pillows and pillows. I'm gonna be all set -ski. See, three people could sleep on this. 100%. What? Those are my tootsies down there. <laughs> Three people could so sleep in this. Alright, this is the setup. Pretty nice. So we're just like all the way down there. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rods are right there. Hopefully gonna catch us some fish. But there's only one way to find out. Um, this is actually crazy cozy. I'm more comfortable than I expected. More comfortable than you expected? Okay. That'd be a yes. Did you have like, you didn't have high hopes for my sailboat skills? I just, when you gave me the hole. <laughs> <laughs> when I told you to get in your hole, you were like, oh, okay, this might not work. <laughs> but it works. It works. It's great. That's how most sailboats are, are um, like, how, like the smaller how ones. Up. Yeah, like the smaller ones are made for bed, bed, bed. So. Would have had no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty cool though. This is my first time in a sailboat. Well, this is a good way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, it's already getting pretty late, but obviously we'll keep you guys updated if a fish runs. Hopefully we catch a fish tonight. Nothing happened with the green light, which was super depressing. The only thing we saw were bugs on the surface. <laughs> it just attracted mosquitoes and stuff. So that wasn't quite successful, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. We're going to wake up super early to make sure that like we get on these fish. Um, whether that be carp, I don't know, anything I'm willing to catch. So that's that's all I got for you guys. We're going to stop here and keep you updated if we catch a fish. That's all I got. But for now, we're going to bed. Good night. Sweet dreams. That rod almost went in the water. I think that's our uh, third bite or something. It's like 1.30 right now. They're here. We're just missing them. Oh my god. You missed it? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> no. Another one bites the dust. We suck tonight. I have something. You have something? Yep. <gasps> Catfish, I know it. No doubt in my mind. Carp? Oh, oh god! I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. What is going on? No shot. Hell yeah, we are. Dude! <laughs> On the sailboat! On the sailboat! <laughs> this is crazy. Is that a big one? I don't know if the drag is loose, but it's been, it's ripping, so I can't really keep up with it. Well, do it yeah. What pound test line do you have? Uh, oh, okay. I just tightened it a little bit. Wait, is that a catfish? <gasps> Todd, Todd, net him. <gasps> That's a huge catfish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have a catfish and a carp on the sailboat. On the sailboat. On the sailboat. Oh my god. We have a catfish. Please don't come off. <gasps> That's my biggest catfish in a while. It's your biggest New England cat. Oh, heck yeah, that's my biggest New England catfish. Oh my god! Dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That thing screamed off, dude! I was messing around when I said, oh, it's probably a catfish. But no, oh. it was catfish. I literally just finished my pizza, too. I know Todd was eating pizza. It's 2.30 a.m. right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's so sick, man. There, no joke. Like we're we're just out on the sailboat. That is unreal. Oh, I gotta I gotta put pants on or something. I'm freezing. I only have my shorts on. Ready to get my hand chomped off by a catfish. Go. Here we go. Uh, I believe this is a channel catfish. I know there's white catfish in this lake, but this is my biggest New England catfish ever because they don't get big here. Nope. Just look at the belly though. It's huge. Like, is this a joke? <laughs> That is one fat catfish doing what they do best, bottom feeding. We're gonna let him go. Look at the speckled. Yeah, that's totally a channel. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. Not a white. Oh. Might have to just drop him. Oh. See, it, buddy. <laughs> Heck yeah. Right. You got so many lights going. My this is also this is the carp Todd caught. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Probably the first time it's ever been done in a sailboat, so we'll take any size. First carp ever. The elusive river monster. Perfect. I am Jeremy Wade. Show me wait, mate. Fish on, matey. Fish on. <laughs> oh, I hate you. Oh, you love me. Ugh. You want breakfast? <laughs> breakfast in bed. We're on. You got him? Yep. Yes. Yes! I went with a squid. Squid pop up with two pieces of big corn. Oh my god. Nice scoop, oh. Becca. <laughs> the best net job I've ever seen. It's just not warm out this morning. Oh, we did it. I know. Three fish? Two carp and a catfish. I mean, a massive catfish. In a massive catfish, yeah. That for New England. For New England, yeah. They're literally that. the biggest catfish I've ever seen in New England. Yeah, and they don't. It's hard to come by that big. I mean, I know they're bigger in this lake though. Like there's some absolute giants in here. Yeah. What a way to kick off the morning. Had some unreal breakfast <laughs> and uh, got a carp. <laughs> Good morning, friend. How'd you sleep? <sighs> Bye, bud. Holy crap, he went stuttering down. Whew. I wish we caught a mirror. That would have been unreal. But I'm not complaining. That was cool. And the sun's out, and I can feel my body regaining some sort of warmth, yeah. which is cool. Hopefully it starts heating up faster though. What is up with the bugs? They're everywhere. Holy. While Todd's getting the other anchor, I, before I forget, this is what happened to the boat. Where the trolling motor is, I put the 9.9 9 horsepower engine on. That It came with the sailboat so that engine has been used on the sailboat for however many years i put it on and it starts it started ripping on this side and now that's muddy because of our our rock that was in there but that side and this side and it's extending all that way which is why i made the joke we might sink uh we didn't but it definitely needs to be refiberglassed um it's a 1973 wear and tear, but ooh, we gotta get it taken care of. We're seeing them uh, in the shallows. Well, I'll keep you posted. I love you. I love you, have a good day. Goodbye. <laughs>
<laughs> Don and I have been watching carp busting right in front of these reeds, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to catch one. I'm laughing because it's very unlikely, but you never you never know. With my skill ability, it varies. So we'll see. There you go. One just swerved on it. Oh my god, one just. Oh my god. It's hot. It's so crazy how cold the mornings and nights can be up north and then how hot it can get. It's getting toasty. Look at this, this is the engine. Wasn't kidding, there she is. This was a fun one, like a really, really, really fun episode. I just love sailboat camping. It's just really, really hard with the condition of the sailboat, but we will be taking it out soon again and then I gotta get a couple things fixed. Just some TLC, she's campable, she's floatable, fishable. And that's really all that matters, but if I don't take care of some of the things now, it, it just won't end good. I mean, it's a, it's a 1973, you gotta upkeep. And the only reason why it's still here today is because the previous owners have upkept the sailboat. So now it's my duty to upkeep it and do it some honor. So I gotta do that. But that's on the list for this summer for sure, uh, without a doubt, because I want to take good care of it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure to go check out Todd. Todd will be linked down below if you guys want to go um, check him out. Anyways, I'm ending off the video here. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. And I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one.